Hello! Today I'm going to be doing a slightly more in-depth look at the writing experience on the three types of notebooks I'm currently using. So we will start with Tomoe River paper. This is original Tomoe River from 19, uh, 2019. It is 52 grams per square meter and I'm going to start with a sheener, a shader, and a chromo shifting ink. I don't want to bother with shimmer because that takes too long to clean out of my dip pen. So we'll start just by dipping my pen and writing a little bit with each a sheener, a shader, and a chromo shifter. So this is a sheener. The pen is my James Finnis dip pen. The nib is a medium stub. And the ink is Blackstone. Sydney Harbor Blue. It is going down as a nice clear blue. We will see what happens when it dries. So next up uh, let's see if I can get all the ink out of there. It's a very lubricated ink, so it kind of wants to stay. Yeah, it got all the way down. I'm having to clean my nib off and into my feed. There we go. Ooh, that needs more water. Maybe instead of doing all my samples first and then doing the next paper and the next paper. I'll do all three papers and then change inks. How's that? Change things on the fly, Rebecca, why don't you? Okay, so this is gonna get messy. That was Tomoe River. Here comes Kyle Air Light. That is cat hair. Back into the Sydney Harbor Blue. This is a sheener. It has been a long day. My printing is shite. Nib is a medium stub. There are some obvious differences. For example, graph paper. This is a five millimeter rule graph paper on the Tomoe River. It was a 3.7 millimeter graph paper rule. So that that's quite different. Ink is Blackstone. Sydney Harbor Blue. Ran out of ink. Next paper. I have, oops, sorry, bumped the camera. I have so little space on my desk to do this because I have too much stuff on my desk. Third dip. Write the same thing as the other two pages. Nib is, I can already feel more tooth on this. Medium. Stub. Cosmo Air Light has the least tooth of the three with this nib and ink combination. Ink is Blackstone. Sydney. Harbor Blue. I have to say the words out loud or I will write whatever I'm saying. Okay, 
So that's the Sheener. Let's clean that off. Oh, holy blueness. My water just went an absolutely rich shade of blue. And my towel says that the feed needs more cleaning. There we go. Put that back together. Next up, going backwards, we have a shader because I still have Mitsubishi Bank paper in front of me. Let's go into a shader. This is my shader. Again, with the bad printing, I'm sorry, it's the end of a long day. Yep, is the same medium stub ink is Robert Oster Viola. That's on Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Bank paper. Off it goes. New dip. Give each of these an equal opportunity to do their thing by dipping with each paper. Shader. Medium stub. Yeah, this is smooth. Compared to the Mitsubishi Bank paper, which has tooth to it, you can feel texture. This is much smoother on the Cosmo Air Light I'm working on now. Viola. Bumping the camera. Yay, success. Tomoy River. Is a medium stub. Ink. Is Robert Ulster Viola? You can see how small this grill grid is. I believe it's three point seven millimeters. It's just it's little. <laughs> it's it's very little, and the uh, rule ruled lines on the Mitsubishi Bank paper are seven millimeter rule. I wish I could compare apples to apples here, but I don't have these papers in all available, all in available uh, seven millimeter rule. So there's no point in trying. We'll just ignore the fact that one is grid paper, uh, two are grid paper and one is ruled because honestly, the ruling doesn't make, the type of ruling doesn't make, um, a lot of difference in the writing experience. So I would say the Tomoy River is the middle of the road for smoothness. Okay, and next up is a chromo shifter. So I'm just going to call it a shifter. This is Shifter. I'm writing the same thing every time because I want to have the same amount of writing. I don't want one extra line introducing the medium stub just on the first one. 
I want us to see an equal amount of writing for each example. Ink is Sailor Yuramaku Amamoyoi. And that was on Tomway River. Now on Fresh Dip. Shifter. Now on Cosmo Light. Shifter. And medium stub. Ink is a sailor. Your Maku. Um, um, oh, yo. I hope I'm getting everything in frame each time I do this. I'm kind of lining it up by the ink, so. Hopefully that's in the frame enough. Fresh dip. Medium stub. I don't know if you can hear it, but this is the loudest of the papers. Close that up so I don't spill. Just putting those inks away. Rinse my pen. Pop my nib. Man, that Sydney Harbor blue really made the water blue. I'm not feeling it as clean. I may have to go and get new water. So, what's next on my list of things to test? Okay. Let's do pencil. This is a Coletto. Here we go. Coletto High Tech C. I have two gel pens, uh, gel refills, a pencil, and an eraser in here. So this is just a normal 0.5 uh, millimeter pencil lead. So pencil. Ooh, smooth. How you spell Coletto? One L and one T. And now we will see how the erasing is. Very nice. That was that was smooth enough. Bleh. Words, Rebecca. That was smoother than I expected of an experience. Let's try pencil in my Cosmo Air Light. Ooh, very smooth, almost unpleasant. 0 0.5 millimeter lead in a, a Coletto. I 
tack. See, this is so smooth it feels weird. Whoa, I need to extend the eraser. There we go. Had a way erased well. felt almost weird. Okay, Tomoy River. Get the cat hair off. Pencil. And erasing. I think the cleanest erase of the three was on the Mitsubishi bank paper. What's up next? Gel pen. I've got two right here. Brown or blue? Let's go with brown. This is a gel refill for Coletto. Very nice. Gel refill for Coletto. Very nice. Shiny. It's a bit shiny. More cat hair. There's no cats in the room, yet their hair is here. Least ex the least nice experiences with the Mitsubishi Bank paper. It's toothy, not as smooth. Gel pens you expect to be a smooth experience, not as smooth. Okay, it's that one. What's next? Let's go with a uni jet stream. This is a Hobonichi pen. Uni jet stream from 2018. Okay, so that means my Hobonichi is from 2018 as well, not 2019. Black. Cosmo Air Light, Uni Jet Stream, Black. Tomoy River from 2018. Uni Jet Stream. Black. And just for funsies, funsies totally being a word, let's put mild liner, brown one over a word. So that's Tomoy River. Cosmo Air Light. Mitsubishi bank paper. 
Now I want to test an extra fine nib and a double broad nib, I think. So I will just dip those. This is an extra fine that was smoothed and tuned by Audrey Madison at Franklin Kristoff. I'm going to dip into Pannonia Bellaton Keck because it's one of my favorite blues right now. Yeah, I got some. This is an EF nib. It's a light ink. It's a good shader. Franklin Kristoff. And the ink is Pannonia Bellatum Keck. That was toothy. I can definitely feel some grain in this paper, this being the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Bank paper. There's definitely grain to be felt while writing with this extra fine nib. And this is the smoothest extra fine nib I own. Next up. EF Nib Franklin Kristoff. This is very smooth. Almost too smooth. This is Cosmo Air Light. That's almost unpleasant. It's it's weirdly too smooth. It's a very smooth nib on a very smooth paper, and I kind of don't like it. Which is funny because all my journaling right now is in Cosmo Air Light journal. Fresh dip for equality's sake. This is pleasant on Tomoy River. Very pleasant. Oh, look, my left hand is shaking now, too. Yay, tremors. Okay, put that down. Yeah, that, that, that was nice. That felt good. So, just going to wash out that nib, put that ink away. Put that pen away. And I'm just going to dip, oh, I put that ink away. I should not have put that ink away. Just going to dip into this double broad architect. This nib is a double broad architect. Obviously didn't dip deeply enough. Don't need that blob. By Canwright. That's enough writing. Double broad architect nib by Canwright on Tomway River. That was pleasant.
double broad architect nib I can write also pleasant How has this been 25 minutes already? This is insane. This should be 10 minutes. Oh, you can really hear that. That is on Mitsubishi bank paper. Wash my nib out. That's enough of the Bellaton Keck. That can go away for reels this time. Okay. So Sheener. Can you see the sheening? Well, I can certainly see the sheening on this top ink. It is very sheeny. How is it on Cosmo Air Light? A bit sheeny. Tomway River, it is all sheen. On Tomway River, it is all sheen. All I'm seeing is sheen. In fact, it is hard to see, except for certain angles. At this angle, I can see the underlying blue color, but up at this angle, all I can see is sheen. So I would say the best sheener is Tomway River followed by Mitsubishi Bank Paper, and third was Cosmo Air Light. Oh no, I lie. Cosmo Air Light, I just had to change the angle. So what about Mitsubishi Bank Paper? Mitsubishi Bank Paper is not sheening nearly as much as the other two. It is not meant for high sheening inks, which actually might be nice because I have seen some inks that sheen so much you cannot see the original color underneath. And to me, that's a bad ink because you can't see the original color and you buy it for the original color, unless you buy it for the sheen, in which case you are not me. I am not a fan of sheening inks. I had to search my ink collection for something that sheened decently enough to do this test. Uh, shading. There's some pretty good shading. You know, this, this nib is almost too fat and dipping it is too wet to really see shading on Tomway River, but I'm seeing shading on Cosmo Air Light. Decent shading there, decent shading at top there, up there. And I'm seeing pretty decent shading on the Mitsubishi Bank Paper. It's best on the Cosmo Air Light. Shifting. Look at the color shift. I'm seeing greens in the halo. I'm seeing browns and pinks. Yeah, this shifting is really pretty on Tomoe River. It's really pretty. I'm seeing that darker green halo. That's really pretty on um, Cosmo Air Light. But oh my gosh, look at it <laughs> on Mitsubishi Bank Paper. It's so green. The shifting, the color shifting is just so intense here. I am loving that. So if you like chromo shifting inks, if you like green tint, you are going to love Mitsubishi Bank Paper. 
So pencil, I think the Mitsubishi bank paper erased the best. Gel refill is shiny on Tomway River. Gel refill is shiny, quite shiny on Cosmo Air Light. It is not shiny on Mitsubishi Bank Paper. The Uni Jet Stream was an unpleasant writing experience on all three papers because there's, well, there's a reason I don't use that type of pen, that ballpoint type of pen. Or ballpoint or rollerball? I think ballpoint. I, I just don't like them. Um, it's also a bit fine for me. Um, mild liner worked well on all three. We will flip the paper over in a minute after we've gone through the front and look at the back in case your brain is screaming out for me to flip the page over. I'll get there. I will, I promise. The extra fine nib, I made my comments while I was writing with it, but I didn't enjoy it on the Cosmo Air Light. Uh, I did enjoy the toothiness on the Mitsubishi Bank paper and the smoothness on the Tomoe River, but I just didn't enjoy it on the Cosmo Air Light. It was too smooth. It was a weird experience. The Architect nib, the, that double broad, shows some amazing shading on all three papers. Oops, you can't see that. Some amazing shading on all three papers. So yay, double broad architect. Now let's check the backs of the papers. So Tomoe River. As usual, nothing has bled through, but oh boy, the ghosting. See, even pencil ghosts on Tomoe River. Everything ghosts on Tomoe River. It's 52 grams per square meter. It's so thin. But nothing bled through and certainly nothing came through to the second page. On Cosmo Air Light, minor ghosting. Nothing bled through, certainly nothing came through to the second page. Yeah, there's ghosting, but you could definitely write on this side of the page and have no problem reading it. With Tomoe River paper, it depends on how I'm feeling and the ink I wrote with. If I wrote with a lighter ink, like this Bellaton Keck, I would write on the back of the page. If I wrote with a darker ink, like the Sydney Harbor Blue on Tomoe River, I would not write on the back side of the page because of the ghosting. So again, it ghosts, but nothing came through. Nothing went on the second page. Um, I think the same thing is with Tomoe. I might not write on the back of this page if I did a full page of writing in Sydney Harbor Blue. It's just so dark. It ghosts really strongly. But you can barely see this Bellaton Cat down here. This Pannonia ink. Even in that double broad architect. It's ghosting very, very lightly. I would be happy to use the second page. Now, the last thing to compare is this. The difference in page sound from page to page as I flip. The more swatching I have done on a page, the louder and crinklier it is. That's Mitsubishi Bank Paper. Here is Cosmo Light. pleasant. And here is Tomoe River. I know there are people who are listening to these very closely because they love the sound of Tomoe River. 
and want to know if the replacement papers or other papers are the same. Now look at this. Clouds of Grey has been leaving shimmer all over the place. So that's your sound experience. Price-wise, um, I'll admit I didn't look these up. All three of these notebooks were pricey. All three of these notebooks, I paid exorbitant shipping to get it to Canada. Um, none of these is cheap papers. We don't buy them because they're affordable. We buy them because they're beautiful. And we buy them because we use fountain pens and we want our fountain pen writing experience to be on amazing paper. Um, I like writing on really good quality paper and these three books are just for playing in. Um, I don't do any serious journaling or writing in them. I just play with inks. So having that experience in a really nice notebook does add to it. Honestly, I wouldn't use fountain pens and inks if I just was able to write on cheap copy paper that is available everywhere. I just wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be a pleasant experience. So it's worth treating yourself to at least one of these notebooks. Hopefully you found something while I was going through that appealed to you, whether it's the crazy greenness and toothiness of the Mitsubishi bank paper, the smoothness and richness of color of the Cosmo Air Light or the lightness, um, the, the very lightness, the fact that you can get so many more pages into a narrow book. Um, I think this is something like 200 sheets and this is not. Yeah, this has more sheets and it's a narrower book, substantially more sheets and it's a narrower book. So Tomway River is known for that. It's so light compared to the others. Uh, I think this one is 79.5. Cosmo Air Light is 79.5 grams per square meter. That or 82.5. It's something like that. It's around 80 grams per square meter. What is the Mitsubishi Bank paper? Uh, 87.9 GSM. So this one has 192 pages and a light gray rule, seven millimeter rule. Take what you want from this. Uh, hopefully you found something that appealed to you. Um, I have something called regalia paper on its way to me. So may have to do a comparison once I get that. It only comes in hardcover notebooks, which I do not like. So I only bought one to play with. Um, but yeah, I will be trying Regalia paper as soon as it gets here and I will compare it to probably Tomoe because it's the known standard. Um, but maybe also to the Mitsubishi bank paper because I'm honestly, I'm, I'm trying to be an ambassador for this stuff because it's delicious. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I've not gotten any free notebooks. Boy, that would be nice, but I'm way too small a YouTuber for that. I just really like this paper, this Mitsubishi Bank paper. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you make a decision about buying paper. Um, I know that working with the original Tomoe River is harder, makes it harder to find um, because there are new substitutions on the market, like the Sanzan and the other one I can't remember the name of. But you get an idea of Tomoe River paper from this. So, yeah, have fun with your pens and paper and your inks. Find a paper that makes you happy, like Mitsubishi Bank paper is making me happy. And if we just hold on for one moment longer, Nella's on her way. Here she comes. Yeah, the attack of the giant kitty. Don't drink, don't drink out of that. No, don't. <laughs> Don't drink out of the ink water. Yeah, that's always the risk with having ink water and a cat. Uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.